Hello again, welcome back to Hobby Fist playing GeoGuessr. My name is Greg, and if you were not here for the Christmas video, we are, again, always trying for that 20,000 score. We've only gotten it once in the past three weeks. Came very close on Monday. How close? Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But for now, that's in the past. We're looking in the future. The future is now. The future is. Her. Her alarm. Hit home. I want to see. Ah! Return to start. Hurlum! Proto- Hur- Hurleys! I don't know where we are. Southern... Well, we're... Can't see behind. This is... Mountainous terrain. Exactly where... South America, I feel. If Carmen San Diego has taught me anything. Manuel Villar, 2014. You have my vote, sir. Just tell me your stance on Revocatora. Revolution in dancing. Vote yes on March. March is a good month. We should not get rid of it. Um, These definitely feel like... Uh, Really high. There's some cactus here, but there it felt like there were some palm trees. So this is a mix between some desert. Oh, curse you! Oh, cobras! Well, stand in the car. Um, nope, that's not a flag of any South American country. Got a killer bike there, though. That's pretty pare. Well, I think that's stop in Spanish. Tell me where you're from, cement mixer. Uh, you're not helping. All right, now we're on our own. As that... Oh, there is a election of some sort going along here. I wonder if these people uh, were paid to do this. Like, hey, can we paint the Caesar Acuna for president on your house? We'll give you a X amount of dollars. Yeah, sure, fine. Or if they took the initiative and had a compa uh, passionate view. We're getting close. This should tell us some stuff. Here we go. Association for Integral Alternative Region. No, this tells me nothing. So, no. Nope. Uh, we're getting down to the wire here. If I have to put... Uh, I... This feels like uh, Central America. I just don't know where in the Ismuth. Around. They're doing a lot of road work here. They get a lot of ro This feels like erosion of some sort. No, they're just doing better drainage, I believe. So they don't get landslides. Oh, this could be, this could be huge. Melendez. So before I forget clicking anything, I'm going to say... I'm going to put us, like, right around there for Colombia. This could be... I feel anywhere from Colombia to real southern Mexico, even Belize. So... This is really nice, though. Really? You, hey, yeah, do what this, this, this van's doing. Has the right idea. Pulling off. Taking a look. It's not telling me anything here. Ooh, a tuk-tuk. You're being very secretive, tuk-tuk. I don't like that. I think they call them tuk-tuks. I know, I believe... Now I'm worried that this is the Philippines. This is gonna either be a lot of points or nothing. Ah! Oh. I keep telling myself, never trust my gut. I have a huge gut. I did not enjoy this location. I should have stuck with my guns. Like One tuk-tuk, you think you've seen them all. Well, we're definitely behind the eight ball as far as getting 20,000 points this time. That's the worst score I've ever gotten. I hope this isn't a sign. Adopt a highway. Where are we? 
sacrilege and of gold prospectors of America. We're in the southwest. America somewhere. I'm gonna just click Arizona for now. And now we just uh do the desert bus challenge that they do at the that Penn Jillette game or Penn and Teller game where they have to uh drive across the desert. I know some that wasn't a sign, I'm just seeing shit. There is some channel on Twitch that does a yearly charity, I believe, in the summer every time, and they play that desert bus mini game. I believe it's a Penn and Teller Sega Saturn game where you are stuck driving a bus, I believe, for eight real hours, and you can't, like, uh, just leave, let the controller go down because randomly throughout the entire... Tells me nothing. Randomly throughout the entire bus trip, the bus leans to the, uh, I believe it's to the right. And if the bus happens to go off the road at any time, you, any point, you instantly lose. So 60 miles an hour. There are some states that their speed limit is different. I think this is still saying adopt the highway. It's very arid here. This could be New Mexico. I don't know yet. I do not recommend playing that game, but hey, it's I do recommend maybe checking out that channel. It's charity. Thorn Creek Reserve or Reservoir. This is a lot. This is probably just saying Thorn Creek Reservoir. Yep. Ah, this 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 little score here is very embarrassing. I'm. You see a tuk tuk. You think those are real popular in the Philippines. This feels like it could be Philippines. Those mountains almost felt like the limestone mountains of Southeast Asia. Stupid brain. Outthinking itself. That's just a... Uh... Forerunner? It's a Toyota. I don't know, but... God, I'm not seeing... I haven't gotten anything to help me. At all. This is a very long strip. Come on! Help me! Move farther up the road. Thank you. I got a minute just to, like, find anything, and this, this... I'm flustered now. I've done so poorly in this round that this is probably going to be the lowest score I've ever gotten in GeoGuessr so far. It's embarrassing. You know, I'm recording this stuff because I feel like I have confidence and I know things. But, clearly... I do not. Well, we've got a uh, weather station. This is a whole lot of nothing. This could be anywhere from New Mexico to Nevada to parts of extreme southern Cal southeast California. And I'm just at a loss here because I'm going to start looking at license plates if I have to. And of course, it's on the back there. Well, I need to make an educated guess of some sort. I'm just going to do the border between these, and it's not going to get any better than this. Wow. Wow. I did not see a single thing anywhere on Route 46 here. There was no signage of any kind. That one was f real rough. Uh, my, my confidence has been shattered. I have no confidence left here. I feel like this is Barcelona. I have no will. Well, actually, it's Chile. That's the Chilean flag, I believe. Well, which Chilean city is this? This is another part of the uh, world I would love to go see. I hear Chile. Chile. Is it Chile? Chile? Is a really cool um, country to visit. I'm just going to put ourselves in Conception for now. I know that's probably not it. It feels like this is a port town of some sort. Um, that is Spanish architecture from Spanish colonialism. This is the Chilean Armada. The naval base. This That's definitely Spanish colonialism for architecture because... I know my architecture. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, this is a welcome sign. Bienvenidos for Arica or 
Is there a Arika in Chile? I don't know. But that's a Porto. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and slowly scan up the coast, which is literally the entire country. See if I can't find an Arika somewhere. Iquique? Ooh. Well, I'm going to say we are hidden within the worst score. This could be the best score I've ever gotten. I'm just looking to see if I can't find the... Uh, I'm just going to click here before I forget. See if I can't see the... Uh, well, that's the beach. If there's a sign for the Armada anywhere here, we're definitely on where the coast is here, so... Let's zoom out just a bit. All right, we're definitely... Well, that's Los Palos. Um, I feel like... How far can I get in here? We're just going to sit right around here. If I can't see it, I'm going to go way more central towards, like, Portage of some sort, even though Portage is... Golden Omega, that sounds like a movie theater. We did pass a movie theater, but I did not see who oh, play a Brava question mark. These are none of these are Nope. Nope. Sailing Club The El Gringo. Alright. We have Pretty much all of this nailed down. If I can't find a... Uh, I'm going to hit home. And maybe take a look-see around. This looks like a historical landmark. This is a church of some sort. I do not see signage anywhere. What what are they showing here? Sturden Kramer? Oh, they're Romeo. I don't want to watch Romeo. I would see Romeos and Juliets. If you don't know what that is, Google that on you. Well, YouTube that and watch it because it's pretty goddamn funny. And again, if you have not played Stefan versus Kramer, uh, it, I don't know what that. Ooh, they're going all line up to see Stefan versus Kramer. I'm making my guess. I, I panned by this a couple of times. I guess play a Bravo. I was real close to it. Yeah, I'm gonna give that five stars. And this is just a pathetic score. Well, this is Thailand, Cambodia, Burma, India, Bangladesh. This could be any one of the Southeast Asian, I do believe, or I feel, that we're around here somewhere. This is some temple. I do know that if you go into any of these temples, actually, we've got language right here. That could be, oh, here we go. This is Waste Segregation Campaign, Green Project for Durber Square, the tourist toilet at Nasal Chowk. I feel Chowk is, um, oh, wait, what do we got here? God, is this India? I feel this is more... Don't know if I want to pull the trigger in India here. We're stuck in this little square here, though, so. What's, was this a... Oh, let's go back. Lots of pigeons. They've been fed so many times, they don't give a shit. People walk around here. Well, we're, we're in this little square, so we're going to make the best of it here. Second Nesh. Oh, now we're at the Gala Guest House. Gorka Money Exchange. Nepal. Yep. Lalitpur. I've heard of Lalitpur before. Can I find Lalitpur? This could be hard. Uh, Lalitpur. I feel it's big enough that I don't need to zoom in that much. I'm going to put us around Bhaktapur. And again, no idea if I'm saying these words, right? I do not speak. I don't know if it's Nepalese. 
Uh, let's let's zoom in a bit more. See if we can't. So I'm just trying to laser in on. There's Tikapur. That is not Lalitpur, though. I have typed Lalitpur a lot. And there's a weird thing that I have that... My line of work, I type a lot of... Um, words I'm not used to hearing, but I type them so much that in my head... I pronounce them perfectly. But then when I'm actually trying to physically say them out loud... Impossible. Like, I don't know if it's Lalitpur, Lalipur, or any of those things. Um, there's a couple of places in other Spanish-speaking countries that I'm like, Oh, I've typed that a million, I've seen that a million times. Say that. Uh, I, I don't think my tongue has been designed. How much farther I gotta go in to find Lalipur? I thought this would be a little bit more uh, pronounced. City, town, prefecture, whatever you want to call it, within the country, but I clearly have been mistaken. But I could also be very blind, which I've been known to be. So anybody who's been here, please, I do apologize for being blind, because that is just something I am in real life. It's a thing I wish I never had the issue of where I can't see it. It's literally I've looked, pa I've walked past it 40 times and then someone points it out to me and, and they're like, how did you not see that? And I just get real mad. I'm like, I don't know. Well, I can't find it. It was Lalitpur. Or is that like a province? Maybe I got thrown, but whatever. 4960, two strong ones, five stars. Maybe I can kind of pull this out to be something respectable. Now this feels like a dirt road I've driven down a thousand times as a kid on my way to hunt turkeys. This also could be Scandinavian. Why am I cannot? Thank you. So I have to get red and mustard again. Well, this is definitely Scandinavia. It's like they the, the color pa uh, palette they have for this part of the country or world seems to be Either red or mustard. I mean, don't don't think of this as disparaging, said Scandinavian countries. I think it's great. It's just, is this like an outhouse or a bus stop? Like a sauna with no door. Um, I need a steady picture. Oh, now we blurred it. Unblur! Nope, that's not going to be anything. So I have to keep driving red mailboxes. Is that a Swedish thing? This very well could be a Swedish thing. Now, I felt like I've driven on this type of road at least in 30% of my GeoGuessr videos. Like, anything here. Anything here. This feels like it's fall, though. Leaves are changing. This is, like, the perfect type of fall weather. Maybe if the sun was a little... Well, we're way up in the northern hemisphere, so they're not going to be as high in the sky as I would be used to. But you get that snappy wind. Get the leaves rustling. And there's a smell that you get with the fall. That it, I just... It's my favorite season. You can take... You can take summer. Humidity's terrible. Sunburn, I don't want skin cancer. You can't get skin cancer in the fall. It's just scientifically impossible. You got nice pretty leaves with the pine trees. Spruces? I believe those are. No, they are birch because I'm an idiot. Birch trees. Little uh, tip. If you happen to be lost in the woods and you need something to start a fire, the uh, bark of birch trees peels off real easy it's you you can tell it's birch because they're white and it's got black scarring all over it and you can the bark starts to peel and kind of curls on itself that stuff uh starts up real fast as far as kindling so if i don't know if bear grizz over touches that in between eating giant grubs filled with ketchup or eating a sheep's eyeball but birch trees 
you need to start a fire, just take a look at real fam. It it's the the wood itself's pretty uh dry too. Ooh, okay, maybe this has got something on it. What do you got? I feel like this is a uh Oh, what is this for? Is it like putting markers down on the road or something? I gotta like commit to. I, I'll just say we're in northern Sweden. This very well could be any of these countries around here. Do a little bit of log in here. But this road would be fun to drive down. You just kind of. I find it cathartic. Aina Jolenti. Even with. You just kind of like. You just know no one's going to be in the road, and you just kind of like focus out just a little far ahead of the hood of your car, and you just look for these potholes. And you get going like 30, 40 miles an hour, and you just kind of sit there and just let your mind dodge in between the potholes so you don't make huge bumps. I don't care. This is great. It was going to be any of these. I really didn't find anything because this is pretty, pretty wildernessy around here. I'm fine with that. We'll do four stars. Let's view the summary. You know, for <laughs> this awfulness and that was, was, was pretty bad, but really a point. Whereas if I didn't do that, I could easily have had maybe, oh, 18,000, maybe even 19,000. But <clears throat> when you want 20,000, you can't have mistakes like getting an entire ocean's width wrong. Just let that be a lesson to you, folks. You see, a tuk tuk doesn't always mean it's instantly the Philippines. But, two days down, maybe Friday we can get 20,000, I'm hoping. And I hope you come back to watch us. So for Evo, this is Javi Vist. Javi Vist. My tongue doesn't work anymore. Uh, this is Javi Fist. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy any of the videos, uh, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have any suggestions, again, I came up with an idea as far as um, the future of the uh, GeoGuessr videos and Monday's episode. If you don't know what that is, go back and watch that. Uh, shameless plug, I guess, whatever. Uh, just leave some descriptions in the comments below if you have any suggestions for the future of GeoGuessr. It's not going away, it's just how to keep doing it. But, hope you guys come back for Friday for the last GeoGuessr video of 2017. Maybe we can get that 20,000 then. We'll see. Goodbye!